everyone here. It's me again. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Tina. Hi. Yeah, we have the Boxy Lux. Yes, this is the Boxy Lux. So let's dig right in and see what we got. Yep, I'm using my scissors dangerously. Because that is the only way I know how. So let's see what we got inside. Ooh, I see a whole bunch of goodies. Take a look, see. Look at all the goodies. Oh, he sees a bag. <laughs> let's pull out the box thingy, this thing here. And it says, Box Charm Get Away. That is what our theme is. So the first thing we're going to pull out is this bag. Because I'm curious to find out what's inside. Let's see. I haven't. I still have no idea. Maybe I'm thinking maybe because the first thing I'm seeing is this. I'm thinking it's a hair dryer. Maybe. Maybe it's a hair dryer. I'm thinking that's what it is, and I was correct. It is a hair dryer, and it's. It says Pete, Pite. I have no idea. It says P Y T. Maybe that's abbreviations for somebody. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't use a hair dryer, so guess what? This hair dryer will be going in a future giveaway. Yes, it will. I don't need a hair dryer. I don't have enough hair to blow dry. So I have no reason to keep it. My son has a buzzed head. And I don't think Josie would let me go anywhere near her with a blow dryer. So yeah, this will go in a future giveaway. This very nice bag with a very nice blow dryer in it. There's the name again. PYT. If you know who that is, let me know down in the comments. I'm guessing they're abbreviations for some right. Somebody. I just don't know who. Anyways, let's continue on and see what else we got in here. We got something without a top on it. I'm looking for the top. Okay, here it is. I found it. I'm going to put it back on without it pointing towards me. Okay, there we go. This is Dry Volume Mitt Blast. Instant lasting volume and texture. Styling and finishing spray again. This, it looks like we're getting a whole bunch of hair products. I don't have no hair. <laughs> except for this fake one that I have on top of my head. So again, this will be going into a future giveaway. Again, it's Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. I'm guessing it's a hairspray. I am not 100% sure on that, but I'm guessing that's what it is. Is that what a finishing spray is? A hairspray? Are they one and the same? Let me know down in the comments. The next thing we're pulling out is Trustique. And um, it's... Um, oh, it's a mascara. And this is a huge mascara. What is this? Look at the top to it. What is going on how to use pull off clear cap to excess hair curler press down along lash line and hold for three to five seconds move across lashes to get desired curl twist off top for volumizing mascara apply as directed Okay, it has a lash curler in it. I am realizing that now. We are going to open it up. Yes, we are. Because Tina wants to get a closer look. Okay. Flip down to curl. Okay, take this off. Flip down. Oh, okay. Flip down to curl your lashes. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen a mascara that came with a lash curler. That is the first time I am seeing that. 
I'm just opening it up and it's just a mascara nothing special about it only thing special about it is it has a, a eyelash curler on it and I just got some uh, mascara in I think it was the my ipsy bag my ipsy because it had the top one and it also had one for the lower lashes so I'm not gonna keep this one this one I am going to put in one of the future giveaways and that is pretty cool that it has the lash curler on it like I said I've never seen nothing like that so yeah I that's pretty cool that is pretty cool okay next thing we're pulling out pharmacy honeymoon glow AHA resurfacing night serum with hydrating honey and gentle flower acids so this is something you put on your face at night like a night cream apply a generous layer to clean skin at night avoiding lips and eyes use two, two to three times a week may build up to more frequent use allow product to dry blah 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 so it sounds like a night cream to me a night serum trying to open the box without ripping it because I already know I don't plan on keeping it trying to open it carefully oh I ripped it oh well it's just a box but this is what we're seeing that is a nice bottle it does remind me of um, Yeah, this is what I was thinking of. What is this? That's oh, a face oil. That's what it was reminding me of. But obviously, they're not even close to being the same thing. Yeah, it's just a night cream. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. So yeah, I'm going to put that into a future giveaway because I can guarantee you I will never use it. So, which is the pity. Tis the pity I'm going to use some tape to close this box up because you all know I accidentally ripped it. So there, now it's closed with a piece of the tape because my new thing is to keep some tape close to me at all times because you never know what you might need some tape for. So the next thing I am pulling out, no poor no problem that's what i'm thinking they're trying to get prime essence calendula of, okay i think i'm trying to read a different language and it says flower extract i'm not sure what exactly it is yet touch and soul that's what it says on the bottom okay let's see i'm trying to Prime Essence Affused with Calendula Aff Okay, I guess that's some weird flower name because I don't think it's an actual another language. It's just the name of the flower. Um, it tightens up pores and keeps the skin silky and smooth for better and long-lasting makeup. How to use. At the last step of skin care, apply moderate amount and gently pat over the skin until it is fully absorbed. I don't know. At the last step of skin care, so does that mean before the moisturizer? Is that what they're saying? It is definitely a tube of something. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I like that. I don't know. I have no idea. Let me know down in the comments what it is. Is it something you would put on your face before, like the oil, like the oil I showed you? Like this oil, you put it on before you apply your moisturizer? Is this that pretty much what this is? Is it, is it like the same thing? Let me know down in the comments uh, what if you know what it is, what you're supposed to do with it. Because I have no idea. And then that will decide on whether I keep it or not. If it's another oil, then, you know, maybe I will. Yeah, I'll keep this one and put that other one in the giveaway. This one right here. 
because I do like the look. I like the top to it. I thought that was pretty. I thought it was pretty. I liked it. Dr. Brandt Clean Biotic Yogurt Cleanser with Chlorophyll. So I guess it's a cleanser for your face. Pretty much that's all it is. I don't smell anything from it. But again, it will go in a future giveaway because I just don't do anything special with my face when I take a shower. I wash it with plain old soap and water. So yep, that will go in a future giveaway too. Dominique Cosmetics. I'm guessing this is maybe a lipstick. It doesn't say on the box. But we are about to find out. It just has ingredients and then it says may contain. And it says that doesn't say nothing. It says peach tea. That name sounds promising. Peaches are usually kind of like a light orangey color. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. Try to open the box without ripping it. My luck in that today has been bad. I have been ripping boxes left and right. Now, if that top, if the color of the lipstick is the color of that top, I'm going to be very very happy. I'm going to show it to you first because no my luck though I'm going to be disappointed when it comes to the colors of lipsticks. Aww. I don't know. It looks like a lip gloss. I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to get a tissue because all I'm wearing now is a lip gloss. It'll wipe right off. Okay, let's try it out, shall we? Come a little closer so I can use you as my mirror. Do you see any color coming from it or you just see lip gloss? I can't tell if it, it's giving them color or not. Where's my mirror? What did I do with you? There you are. I think it's just giving my lips, you know, like a glossy shine. That's it. But I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. So I think there's going to finally be something that I'll keep. I'm going to keep this lipstick, obviously, because I already smeared it all over my mouth. Yes, it does look very pinky in the camera, but it's more of a peachy color. You know, so. But I do like it. I do. I wish it had a little bit more color to it. Because I can't tell if the color there is actual color on my lips. I think it does. I think it adds a light, a, a tiny bit of color. So that I will keep. I don't need the box no more. And we do have a palette, but we're saving that for last. So second to last is a Skin and Glow Aqua, okay, I think I'm trying to read another language again. Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist. I like the sound of that. Let's spray some on my face. I don't like the smell of it. That I don't like. Did it make my skin glow? I don't see no difference. Maybe I'm expecting too much from this product. I expected to open my eyes and be blinded by the light coming off of my skin. But yeah, I'll keep that one as well. But I don't know. Do you see any more? Do you see a brightness in my skin now since I've sprayed that on it? Let me know down in the comments. But yes, like I said last, but definitely not least, we have the Tardiest Pro, bleh, Pro Glow 3. I have an itch. Okay, let's open it up. 
It says, um, cheek palette. So it's for your cheeks. It is a blush palette. Ooh, it is a fancy palette. I like the feel of it. And it looks like it opens side, like this, like that. It looks like it opens like this. Uh, I'll let you guys see it first. Let me open it up. Oh, oops, I already looked at it. Oh, well, I guess I can't do the whole surprise thing. I was trying to open both of them. Oh. Ooh. I think I'll keep that. You know how much I love the pinky blushes? Look at those pinks. I'm trying not to drop it. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, we'll just swatch them now. Why not? I already have tons of swatch videos for the future, so. And I'm, I am planning on keeping this, so I'm just going to dig my fingers right into them. I'm going to do the top two first. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I am in love. Oops, I messed that one up. Oh, I love that one even more. Look at that one. Those are the top two. I accidentally rubbed my fingernail across the top and scratched it a little bit. You see where I scratched it? You see where I scratched it right there? These other ones kind of look like a highlighter. Oh yeah, that is a definitely a highlighter. I'm really terrible at showing Getting it on the arm correctly so I could show it, but it's it's right here. That is beautiful. And the one right next to it, I'm going to put right next to it. Did I put it on top of it? I think I did. Yeah, that's right here. Isn't that pretty? And you got your blush and the highlighter all and one palette and I'm thinking the bottom ones might be for bronzing you know I'm not exactly sure how you do that do you like put it underneath the blush I'm not exactly sure I never use it so but we'll put some on here and that's that yeah, I think it's for bronzing and the other one's kind of a shimmery one which I'll just kind of put right underneath it it's down here further yeah, they look kind of the same. It is pretty, though. Look at it. I smeared it in a little bit. It does go very well with my skin tone, I do have to say. Yeah. Maybe in the future, you know, come get ready with me. I will pull out this palette and we'll play with it a little bit. But yeah, it's very pretty. Let me try one of the, I'm going to try this pink on this side on. Try to get it, look at my face. Can you tell the difference? I do have rosy cheeks already because of the fact that I'm already wearing blush. Can you tell the difference? Hmm? Play in closer so you can see better. I do like it. Now, I didn't keep a lot out of this box, but that is fine. Not every box is going to be a winner, but the few things I did keep I think are awesome. Like this cheek blush, I love it. What else did I decide to keep? Oh, yeah, I want you guys to tell me what exactly this no pore, pore bloom is, what it's for. I'm, one, I'm thinking my guess would be it's an oil that you put on before you add the moisturizers, like, um, like this thing is that I got from Ipsy last month, I believe. But, yeah, so um, yeah, let me know down in the comments what exactly that is, and then that will decide on whether I keep it or not. And then I'm also keeping this spray stuff. But yeah, I don't know if it did anything for my face or not. I can't tell the difference, but it did feel good when I sprayed it on my face. 
what's going in future giveaways the cleaning tube thingy this um, honey glow night serum this hairspray um, finishing spray whatever that is I'm not exactly I, I think it's a, just another word for hairspray if I'm wrong about that let me know and then this cool mascara that has the um, the eyelash curler um, right installed on it. I think that's awesome. But I just got, like I said, I just got a mascara from Ipsy. I don't need another one. And that is the only reason this is going in a future giveaway. And then, of course, let's not forget this awesome hair dryer. That is going in a future giveaway as well, I believe. Oh, yeah, don't forget the lipstick. I'm keeping the lipstick, too. Yeah, I do. I do like the color. It is a very um, light color, which is what I like. Yes, it is. So let's go into the prices and see what they suggest. Okay, the the cheek palette, their um, recommended retail value, is forty five dollars. The Prime Essence, the one I'm not sure is this thing here. That's twenty three. What's let's see what this set. What, <laughs> Let's see what this says. Maybe I'll be able to figure it out by what this says. Let your makeup stay a while with your new touch insole. No prop, pore bloom, prime essence, suffused with blah, 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 flower extract. The, oh, it's a primer? This primer tightens up your pores, keeping your skin silky, silky smooth. Oh, it's a primer. Then I'll definitely keep it. I thought it was like a serum for before you put on your moisturizer, like the oil. Well, cool. The Lemonade Lip Gloss, which is what I'm wearing now, $17. The um, Turbo Mini Turbo On The Go Dryer, $85. The Dr. Brandt Cleanser, $35. The Honeymoon Glow Resurfacing Night Serum, $58. The um, Hairspray Volume Mist, whatever it's called, $29. The Mascara, $25. And then the Dew Mist is $35. I think it was an awesome box. Unfortunately, I don't need a hair dryer, or it would have been awesome if I had hair. But I don't. And also, all the other hair stuff would have been awesome, too, if... I had hair, but sadly, I just don't. But yeah, so those things, some lucky winner, will be getting those in the next giveaway. But yeah, so that's it. So don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And here you'll see my little picture, so click on it. Click on it if you haven't subscribed yet, because I post new videos almost every day. Just hands. <laughs> Until next time. Bye.